This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. What you just heard there was me having a stab at the intro solo from the Pat Travers version of Statesboro Blues. It's a song that I remember fondly listening to on a great British rock and roll institution that I'm sure many of you remember fondly as well. Um, the Friday Rock Show on a Friday evening with Tommy Vance on the BBC. Yes, uh, marvellous memories of that. And he did have quite a soft spot for that track. It comes from Pat's 1977 album, Making Magic. And um, usually when I do these videos, I like to know who played the solo. So I thought I'd uh, Google it. And there's not much information out there. The only information I could find on this album is this uh, Metal Music Archives, uh, like a blog site, I guess, um, that has... Uh, the lineup and musicians uh, listed, and interestingly, you know, we've got Glenn Hughes uh, is uh, on the album in part, as is a certain Mr. Nico McBrain. But this is the only other musician I can find credited with uh, having any guitar uh, input on the album. It's Brian Robertson, and. I'm just thinking, is, is that the Brian Robertson? You know, Thin Lizzy? I can only assume that it must be. So that's who I've credited the solo to in the tab that I've done for it. So uh, that's a little bit of background about the solo. Let's have a little bit of a look at what's going on in the solo. Solo explanation. Right then, let's take a look at what's going on in the solo, beginning as always with what it's played over. The short version is that it's a 12-bar blues in the key of D. There's a bit of an intro where there's some um, harmony guitar parts that we're going to look at in a second. Um, and that intro it is based on this kind of riff here. It's I'm sure you're pretty well aware of uh, this kind of thing. You know, in, in another key it would be uh, Walking By Myself by Gary Moore or Hoochie Coochie Man or millions of blues songs use that. Anyway, we do three of those. And then on the fourth one, we play... Like that. And after that, we're into um, the, uh, the the 12-bar boogie shuffle proper, which, which would be like this. That kind of thing. And um, let's have a look at those harmony parts to begin with. I'm just going to be referring to the tab over here. Um, the, the the main lead guitar part, the bit that sort of continues after the harmony guitar part, we'll look at that. It's basically that. And then it goes that. So that's basically it. What's going on and how would you harmonize that? Well, uh, what's going on is we're mixing two different pentatonic scales together. We're mixing the D major pentatonic. You can see quite clearly coming out of that position there of D major pentatonic. And then um, D minor pentatonic coming out of that what we would call position four there that's what's going on for that so like a question and answer sort of thing going on 
So how would you harmonise that then? Well, here's a little magic trick that um, happens when you mix two pentatonic scales. When you mix D major pentatonic, D, E, F sharp, A and B, with D minor pentatonic, D, F, G, A and C, then you can get a collection of notes called, that go like this, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. That is the D mixolydian mode. And that is what is being used to harmonize this here. Um, so when these notes here are being played, these are all coming from D major pentatonic, which is has all of its notes that are all, also there in the D mixolydian. Um, when I'm bending this note here, for instance, this E note up to an F sharp, in the harmony, we go to the note a third above that. And as I said, the D mixolydian is D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. So F sharp, go a third above that, F sharp, G, A. The uh, the second guitar part, the harmony guitar part, is uh, going to an A note. So while I'm bending this, bending up to this F sharp here, the harmony guitar part is bending up to an A. So that you're essentially getting an F sharp and an A happening together that pleasing, sweet-sounding harmony there, like that. And that just tracks through the whole of that um, harmony section. Basically, whatever note guitar one is playing, you know, like there, when I'm landing on that D note there, guitar two is, is landing on the, uh, the F sharp note there. That's a D note, E, F sharp always the, the harmony part is always going to the next but one note up the scale and that's how that harmony section works anyway um after that we get into the meat of the solo proper where we are using for the again a mixture of d major and d minor pentatonic starting with the d major pentatonic with this lick Something like that. I got me timing a little bit wrong there, but you can see it's all coming out of that pattern there, which you probably would, if most guitarists would tend to think of that as B minor pentatonic. Um, but you know, you do need to know the major identities of the pentatonics as well, and this is as well as being B minor pentatonic. It's also D major. There's your major root note there. So let me play those licks again. that basically um then at that point there we switch scales we go from the d uh, major pentatonic doing the same trick as we did in the harmony section we come down into the d minor pentatonic down there there's a reason for that um which i won't go into too much theory in fact i won't go into any theory at all basically we're going to the four chord here and for reasons that I've covered in other videos and I don't really want to kind of clutter up this video with the major pentatonic in a blues like the D major pentatonic doesn't work over the four chord okay there's a clash of notes there as I said we haven't got time to go into that but this is why either he ins either intuitively or consciously knew that so he goes to D minor pentatonic and plays this lick here so that's just coming out of that sort of pattern four shape here and playing the, the G to A hammer on, uh, fifth to seventh fret on the uh, D string and then going to the D note on the third string at the seventh fret and then alternating that with the, the, the C note there. So essentially like that and then we come down a little kind of blues scale run it's a blues scale because he's introducing that flat five there that g uh, like that and then just more kind of d minor pentatonic stuff there uh, like that and then Sticking with the D minor pentatonic, we're coming towards the end of the solo now, and we've got some pattern one D minor pentatonic stuff up here, starting with... Uh, let me... Get... 
and then just uh, some more kind of pentatonic D minor sort of stuff uh, here, basically a triplety kind of thing. Uh, That. I forgot that for some reason. I must admit, when I was playing the uh, the solo, uh, the, the performance of it, um, I think I went a little bit off piste uh, on that part there. I just played uh, a lick that, well, to quote Eric Markham, I played all right notes, not necessarily in the right order. But it's just that the 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 specifics of this aren't important in, in you know in a solo like this. You just play, you know. You know, da 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 da, some kind of triplety bass thing, um, using that p uh, position one of D minor pentatonic. So that's a bit of an overview of what's going on in the solo. Fantastic solo this, and now you know what's going on. Go away and have some fun with it. And as always, there's a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing the solo. That explanation you've just seen there, and a jam track for you to play along with for yourself, all of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, and the link is in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these bits and pieces and resources that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive heartfelt thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are also linked down in the description. And that's pretty much it for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful and informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not give me a like while you're at it? Don't forget, as always, the live stream every Friday, 5 pm UK time. We drink beer, we talk about music, guitars, and whatever else crops up. Great way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. Yeah.